ain't time. I think so. All right, I think that this is fully functioning now. Hi, everybody. I don't even know which thing I'm on. What? Hello. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. Hi, 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 and hi again. What's up, people? Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Um, we have a lot to do. So, come on up in here. Come on up in here and get settled. We have a lot of work to do today. All right? So, before we even get started, you know we have to make a cocktail, right? Like, that's like first and foremost. All right? So, you guys always ask, well, Darius, where are your cocktails? So, I'm going to make a cocktail out of... 101 recipes for your holiday table. So some of y'all already have this, so this may not be much of a stretch for you. All right, but I am on page 215 in here, all right? So we need a few things. Let me grab um, a beer. Hold on, y'all, let me grab one thing over here. Well, I might be shame, y'all. Oh, I'm not shame. I better say, now I know I had a ginger beer somewhere around here. All right, so I have a ginger beer ooh, that I'm gonna pop open. And let me get some ice in my, in my cup. I've had the longest day in, <laughs> The word I am so completely frustrated right now um, for everything that had to go on today. So I'm ready for this cocktail. Okay, let me get some ice, y'all. Hold on. Okay, so the recipe calls for a little bit of ginger beer. I'm gonna put the ginger beer in here last, okay? Let's do sour apple mix. Let's do a little bit of that. All right, you could do like, whatever you got, any apple flavoring. It doesn't, I mean, it matters, but it's, it's not that big of a deal, okay? Then we need some um, green apple vodka. That's all you need, really, is these two ingredients. But we're going to go and do it the right way. Okay, so I have some Syrah. Green apple vodka. Apple is good. It's like the fall, right? So a shot or two of that. All right, let's do our ginger beer. Okay. And then we do need a little lime juice with this. So let me grab some lime juice. Uh from the fridge, all right? And you know what we say, fresh squeezed. It don't even matter who squirts it, okay? We give this a little bit of a stir stir, just to make sure everybody's combined. All right, you could garnish this with an apple if you wanted to, but this is what it looks like in the book, okay? So this is the green apple Moscow. Oh, one second. The code for tonight, 55% off, okay? 55% Thanksgiving 22, all right? ShopDariusCooks.com, 55% off Thanksgiving 22 is the code, all right? So put that in the comments for me. People are gonna be asking that on that. Anyway, all right. So this is the green apple Moscow mule in the book. This is the green apple Moscow mule in person. Bow your head. 
And let's say grace. Grace. With the day I had, this is what we need. All right? At this time, we are asking all visitors to please stand. At this time, we are asking all visitors to please stand. All right? We really do uh, hope that something is said or done that reaches your heart this evening. Thank you so much for joining us in tonight's service. We are so happy to see you. Now, at this time, we do have impact agents. They're coming from the rear. The impact agents are going to give you a card. We ask that when you go around for offering, that you drop that information card in the offering basket along with your gift so that we can stay in contact with you. And then we do ask that when service is over, you make your way to the east vestibule to claim your free gift. Don't go to the west vestibule, all right? Um, we haven't signed up for our seniors. They are having a wet wig contest next weekend. And so sign up. If you want to participate in the wet wig contest, you go over to that particular table. Now, let us take a moment to welcome you. Let the foodie in me love the foodie in you. Let the foodie in me. Love the foodie in you, cause you're easy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You're easy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You're easy. Easy to love. You may be seated in his presence. Ain't it good to be in the house this evening? Huh? Oh, yes, it is. Um, shopdariuscooks.com. You can use the code Thanksgiving22. Thanksgiving22 will save you while we are live. 55% off. Okay? Now, listen. Thanksgiving is coming up. All right? I got to go. I'm having surgery on Monday. Okay? Be recovering the rest of the week. So get your notes and stuff out now. And let's work on what we got to work on. Let's start with the sweet potato. Hold on. You know the bowls done got. Um, hello? Hello? What is you doing? You know. Nah, I know I ain't that drunk yet. Do, hello? You gonna come out of here or what? Hold on, let me get another uh, a vessel. I'm having trouble in paradise over here. One. Oh, oh, I see what's going on. It's stuck together over here. Okay, it's stuck over here, and then I put it over here, it begins stuck over here too. So, we... thank you. Play with me, devil. Let me tell you about black people. Let me tell you how ingenious we are. All right, black people, we know what to do, don't we? Quit playing with us. Uh, okay, sweet potato cornbread. Let's go. Y'all ready for this tutorial? All right. I don't want to hear no. I want to hear your mouth. We're going to take some butter. That's what this is. This is not time for you to be like, you know what? I'm going to make it vegan. We don't want that. I'm going to make it low fat. It's 
excuse me, you had 11 months, 24 days, 16 hours, 12 minutes, and 52 seconds to make it low fat. Not today, Satan. Okay? ShopDariusCooks.com. You guys can use the code. If there's anything you want on the website, you can use the code um, Thanksgiving22 at checkout to save. Okay? Okay. In there, we got some butter. All right? I'm going to put this butter on on a low because I want to like get the butter a little brown, you know? I don't want to burn it per se. I want to get it a little brown. Okay, let's work on our dry ingredients. Y'all ready for that? This is the only measuring cup I can find, so this is the measuring cup I'm gonna use. We need some flour. Okay, so let's get the flour first. Okay. Let's get the flour first. All right, so in this bowl, we put the flour, the flour in here. Now the normal recipe is what I'm gonna make, all right? It's just a cup, a cup, a cup. If you make my cornbread, then you know how this goes, okay? It's shopdariuscooks.com. 55% off the entire website only while we are live. Once we're done with live, I'm done with the discount. Deal with it, okay? It's the normal cornbread recipe, but I'm just going to... Um, hold on one second. Very precise measuring here, okay? Thank you. Um, to that, I've got some corn meal, okay? This is, look what they had at the stove. This is yellow corn meal. That's what you need. I got, let me see, let me end up with some of this first. Hold on one second, y'all. I think I got me a little touch before I open up. You know, first out, first in. Okay, so that was flour. We need the same amount of um, sugar, I mean, what's this, cornmeal, as we do the flour. That was one cup, one and a half cups. We a little shy of two cups. That's all right. Huh? <laughs> we a little shy. We are <laughs> shy of two cups. Very precise measuring around these parts, okay? And it's still finna be the best cornbread you ever had in your entire life. Okay, now we need two cups of sugar. That's half a cup. That's a whole cup. Cup and a half. Two cups. Okay. That's all you need. Beautiful. Sugar child from Publix. It was on sale. Now people be asking, do you use white cornmeal or yellow cornmeal? The kind that's on sale. I didn't forget the butter. The butter is brown. Let me do this. All right. Let me do this. Okay. For the rest of our dry ingredients, we need some salt. Okay. Y'all tuned in to watch me. And you're going to ask me. Watch the butter. Don't do that. I got this. Okay. You need a, a teaspoon of salt. That's about a teaspoon. <laughs> okay, then you need some baking powder. 
You want a tablespoon of baking powder. I'm finna eyeball it, cuz. Oh, Lord. Sorry, y'all. You too, my bad. Wait, is y'all charging? Oh, y'all charging. Y'all good. I hope y'all charging. Wait, hold on one second, y'all. Who this is? YouTube. Let me show y'all charging, YouTube. Hold on. Y'all show length. That's why. It said low battery. Hold on, y'all. Now you charge. Okay. Oh, this apron, you like this? You know where you get this from? ShopDariusCooks.com. Okay. ShopDariusCooks.com. Now, I'm going for brownish butter, okay? Like brownish. You see what I'm saying? So we can make it like everything has to be high fat, high flavor. Everything's got to be great. ShopDariusCooks.com. For those who keep asking, and the code is Thanksgiving 22. Okay, so these are my eggs. Four of them. Okay, go in. You see that so far? Make sure you don't get no shell in it. You're gonna be shamed like I just was. All right. Okay, make sure you don't get no. Now, look, see my butter. It's just starting to brown and turn nutty. So if you don't know this, butter is made up of two components, fat and water. Much like the rest of us, okay? So what happens is that once the water content cooks out, you're left with the little fat bits that are in there. Well, fat does burn, right? So what you wanna do is caramelize the fat a little bit. When you caramelize the fat, it turns like to this really beautiful, like nutty flavor. And I don't know if you know this, but that's what the presence of the Lord is. All right, right in there. Okay, now I'm gonna take this brown butter that I just made that y'all was so concerned about that I was going to uh, burn it. And I'm gonna add me some butter, brown butter, right into my cornbread mix like that, see? All right, let's give that a good mix to get that all mixed up. Now we have to flavor this, cause right now it's just, oh, it smells so good. Hey, smells amazing. Okay, let's flavor this though with a couple of really important flavor. Are you ready? You should be, okay? First, cinnamon, okay? Yes, in the cornbread, child. Yes, cinnamon in the cornbread. Put you a little bit of that in there, okay? Next, with a little bit of, um, now this is not Patti LaBelle. I must have rehearsed my lines. A thousand times. No, that's not that. Okay. That's a little nutmeg. And then I got me a little ground allspice. Okay. A pinch of both of those. Half a teaspoon. If you want to take your, um, what you call it. Okay. Now. The only thing that we need out in here is. I did say it was a sweet potato cornbread. Ain't that what I said? But you need the sweet potatoes. So guess what I did while y'all was not here? I put my sweet potato in my Darius Cook's pressure cooker and pressured it. All right, for a little bit. And then I'm going to take my pressured um, sweet potato out of here and put it in my batter. I only need about half. This potato was so big. Ooh, it's so big, it ain't even all the way cooked all the way through. Okay, let me pull some of this off of here. Hold on, let me get a, uh, something so I don't, I don't burn myself. Okay, cause this is hot. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I pressured it for y'all got here because it was gonna take forever. And I only need about half of this potato. I don't need the whole thing because this is way too much. Look how big this is. What you gonna do with all this? Nothing. That is too big of a potato. Hold on one second. Okay, so we're gonna pull off some of the flesh of the potato. If I can get it, it's hot, y'all. This is thing is, ooh, that thing is hot. Ooh, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got some, hold on. Hold on, I'm trying to pin it without, ooh, woo, without killing myself. Let it cool, let it cool down first. Don't do what I'm doing, okay? Don't do it like this. Let it cool down. Let it cool down first. And then you can put your potato in there. Once you, ooh, ooh, ooh. Once you peel, peel it off. Oh, jeez. Hold on, y'all. Oh. Hold on. Ooh, I'm trying to get the skin off at the same time. I'm trying to get the skin off at the same time while I'm trying to peel. Hold on. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, 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 I can't get it. I got it. Come on out. Come on out, sucker. Ooh, 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 to the touch. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, it's a little skin left on this one. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Jesus. Don't don't do what I just did. Okay. Don't do that. Let your stuff cool completely. Okay. Don't do what I'm doing. Cause I'm over here. Just really. I just need half this potato. Okay, I just need half of it. But you see how how hot it is. The devil is busy. All right, let me get one more little piece off of here. Ooh, if I can, y'all, this thing is so hot. Ooh, Jesus, bless my fingers, Lord. I don't know how our ancestors did this without the right utensils. Okay. I don't know how our ancestors did this, but this is very hot. Okay. Ooh. Okay, that's it. I ain't got no more. I'm done. Okay. Potatoes in here, they soft, so you're going to mash them up with the batter. Okay. So you got that? So you got potatoes, you got cornmeal, you got everything you need, except now we need some buttermilk from somebody's farm. And the lovely people over at the Borden Farms, <laughs> okay? And you know what pancake batter looks like. So that's what we're going for. That's our, our litmus test is pancake batter, okay? So get in here real good. And we're, oh, it smells so good. Oh, God. Oh, it just smells like heaven. Okay, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, brown butter, sweet potato. Now, you could use brown sugar for this too. That would make it over the top amazing, but I didn't do that. Okay, all right, here's my cornbread batter. My sweet potato cornbread batter. Okay, done. Now, we gotta bake this. Let's talk about it real fast, huh? All right, let's talk about it real fast. I'm using a tube pan, okay? This thing got so much butter in it that you don't even need to grease it that much. But just in case, we give it a little spray, okay? And you can do old school if you want to. Your old school is uh, you put the butter in there you mix the butter, you know, you know old school. What your grandmama did? Yeah. 
You can do old school. Okay. Bake it in one of these. That's going to that's gonna F them up right there. Okay. Bake it in one of these. That's really going to get them. They're going to say, oh my God. What is that? You're going to say cornbread. What kind? Sweet potato. Cornbread? Yes. Where you get that from? You can lie and tell them you made it up. You say, I made it up. I ain't going to get you. Or you can say, that it's a fat boy. <laughs> it's a fat boy. He be online. The dark-skinned fat boy, his name Darius. He be online cooking. I seen him make it one time. Okay. Now, the cornbread by itself is amazing. Okay. By itself is amazing. Come here. Come here. I'm going to show you how to make a butter pecan. Honey butter to go with this. That's going. That's going. Baby. Okay. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to make this butter pecan honey butter. Let me tell you what you ain't seen. Nothing. Huh? Let me tell you what you ain't seen yet. Nothing. Okay, all right, so our cornbread is in the oven. Can we talk about another recipe for Thanksgiving? Not until I fill up my cup with some more, another beverage. All right, hold on, let me get some more ice. Hold on. All right, now this um, green apple, this green apple Moscow mule, it's in the, the cookbook, all right? So if you really want it, like a recipe or something like that, it's the one in there. <laughs> okay, shopdariuscooks.com. While I am live, okay, while I am live, you can have 55% off whatever you like on the Darius, the shop DariusCooks.com website. Yes, yes, you can. All you gotta do is go to shopdariuscooks.com and when you check out, put the code Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving um, 22 at checkout. And uh, it's all yours, okay? Thank you for letting me scam you, okay? I, from my heart to yours. Now, let's find out what page this casserole on. Mm. We need something to cook in, don't we? What are we gonna make our casserole in, Darius? What do we, what do we have here? Is this a lid? What, oh my God. What does this lid go with? This lid goes with, <clears throat> okay, the gorgeous, beautiful, Saucier, cast iron, enamel, crimson and gold, which you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. I'm not done. We could have made our cornbread in the crimson and gold Oh my God, what do you have? 
the beautiful cast iron skillet, okay? With the logo underneath the bottom, okay? I'm sorry, hold on one second. Did somebody say we were done? Because I don't think we are. How are we going to make our croissant stuffings? We're making it in the Darius Cook's Oval Braising Pan. I'm so excited. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I am so excited. Hold on one second. You have to see this, okay? You have to see this. This is the Darius Cooks, okay, braising pan, which is great for casseroles, macaroni and cheese, you name it, short ribs, all the things. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Who, what are you talking about? Who are you playing with? Okay. Shop Darius Cooks 55%. Oh, I'm sorry. You thought I was finished? Okay, probably one of my favorite pieces ever. That braising pan, you can't tell me, this not, you cannot tell me this thing ain't gorgeous, okay? You cannot tell me she isn't gorgeous, but she has a beautiful, sibling, okay? She has a beautiful sibling. Did you say Dutch oven? Did you say crimson and gold Dutch Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We gotta calm down. Everybody just calm down, all right? Everybody just calm down at this beautiful, beautiful gradient crimson and gold oven safe dishwasher safe Dutch oven. Isn't she amazing? Huh? Isn't she amazing? Okay, you have this one and this one and this one and this one. I dare you name another social media influencer with their own line of cookware in three colors that looks as amazing as this. Let us work on the beautiful, lovely, this is amazing. I'm so excited, I don't know what to do. Shop there. No, you know what? Let me just say this real fast before we go on. Last year, and I'm not going to get emotional, but last year when I realized just how amazing these live streams are, I said to myself, Darius, you got to have your own line. It makes no sense for you to be on social media cooking like this selling your cookbooks and using products from other people. It makes zero sense. Develop your own line. 
I have the Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet. Shop DariusCooks.com. The Darius Cooks Dutch Oven. Shop DariusCooks.com. The Darius Cooks Oval Braising Pan. Shop DariusCooks.com. The Darius Cooks Saucier. DariusCooks.com. And the Darius Cooks Cast Iron Skillet. Thank you. Shop what? DariusCooks.com. All right? And tonight, 55% off, along with said cookbook. Okay? Now, let me go find the paper. Let's get back to cooking. Because I'm about to get emotional. And, you know, I will cry at the drop of a dime. Okay? Especially when it's like, you know, you manifested this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I legit was like, yo, I want my own line of everything. And here I am. I have it. Here you guys are. You know how many skillets we done shipped? It's amazing. It is absolutely, unequivocally amazing. And I want to thank you for supporting my little crazy idea. All right. Now we on page 67. Back to this. Oh, the cutting boards? Tomorrow. More on that later. Okay, 67. Nacho Mama's green bean casserole. Okay? Nacho Mama's. Let me show you how this goes. Okay. The, uh, the book says you got to go ahead and preheat the oven. Okay? So, I did buy green beans. But I'm going to tell you something. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to tell you something real fast. All right? The people be doing too much. Okay? You do not have to break the bank to make this recipe. Number one. Number two, who the hell you think got time to be picking green beans from scratch. If you don't get in there and get these frozen green beans, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you one thing I'm going to do to make them fancy. I did get the whole green bean, okay? I got the whole green bean um, out the freezer section, okay? You could get the fresh if you want to get the fresh and cook the fresh down. I'm going to tell you something, though. I don't have time for that, okay? So we're going to make these green beans. Now, the book says that we got to put some butter and flour into, um, we're going to put butter and flour into, I'm going to use this Dutch oven to do this, okay? Because I feel like that's going to give us real good heat and whatnot, okay? So cut this on medium. And essentially what we're making is, Macaroni and cheese, but without the macaroni, okay? Essentially, we're going to replace the uh, pasta with the green beans, okay? So, you know how sometimes green bean casserole don't be that good? Uh-uh-uh-uh. Not this one, okay? So, I'm going to put the butter in here. Only use a little bit. You don't have to use that much, Okay? You don't need that much butter. I mean, you need some butter, but you don't need that much, okay? Now I'm gonna add a little pinch of flour. You need to make these. Go to page, what page this was on? One what? You need to go in here and make them. Okay, I ain't got but a pinch of flour left in this bag. I'm going to put this flour in here, okay? That's called a roux. R-O-U-X. And you're going to mix it up real good. 
Okay, because essentially what we're going to do is cook out a lot of that pasty flour taste out of our um, out of our roux. And it doesn't take long. So we don't want color on the roux. We just want a beautiful, um, you know, a combined flour and butter situation. Very homogenous. Vocabulary word for you. Okay. Now, tonight's dairy of choice is a little bit of half and half. Please, Brick, come close to the phone. Whatever you got. If you got me on a computer, come close. If you got me on the TV, turn it up. If you got me in your device, bring it close to you. This is not the time for skim milk. This is not the time for low fat nothing. You want full fat, 100% everything, son. Full fat, half and half, okay? We're gonna put this in here, and essentially what we're doing is we're building a bit of a white sauce, okay? That's what we're doing. We're building a bit of a white sauce, all right? So butter went in here with a little bit of flour. I'm gonna put my half and half in there and stir that together real good, all right? Now we're just gonna season this with a little bit of salt to start, all right? And then when we get done with the salt, we're gonna add some pepper. So a little bit of salt. Do not say that's too much salt. Them is green beans. When the last time you seen green beans taste like something? Them shits don't taste like nothing by themselves. You got to season them and that be y'all problem. So y'all don't be seasoning y'all food and that upsets me and my homegirls, okay? We, we don't like that. I ain't got no home. I do have home girls. Hi, Kendria. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Bethany. Hi, Kim. Hi, Stephanie. Um, hi, Janelle and Auntie Sherry and Tamika and Shasti and Shalanda. Okay, that's black pepper. Okay. Now, I'm going to add garlic powder and smoked paprika, okay? So, this is smoked paprika, yes. And then, I got me a little taint of garlic powder over here, okay? Little taint of garlic powder. And then, I got me a little taint of smoked pap. That's going to go in next, all right? Mix that up real good. And then you're ready for your cheese after that. Hold on, let me mix this up. Give me a second. Mixing. Okay. Now let's talk about cheese right there. <laughs> let's talk about cheese real fast. Now the book says you're supposed to be using Gruyere and white cheddar. Guess what was not on sale? Gruyere and white cheddar. You had it right. They're not on sale. No, 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 no. I looked. No Gruyere. No white cheddar. Sharp cheddar was on sale. Quesadilla shredded cheese. <laughs> Quesadilla shredded cheese was on sale. And mild cheddar was on sale. Hello?
Thank you, God. Okay. Thank you, God. Let me put my green beans in my broth. I mean, in my, um, what's that called? My sauce. Hold on, y'all. See, that's why you use frozen. See how they are already soft? You ain't got to soften them up none. Hold on. Oh, shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code Thanksgiving22 to save 55%. Okay. Let me start this together. Hold on. Let me make sure this is good. Woo! That looking good right there. Oh, I can put a little more in here. I got a few a little room for a little more. Hold on, y'all. Oh, yes. That's perfect. Okay. Let me move my book out of the way. Okay. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stir this real good. Oh, God. Yes. Oh. Okay, let me show you. So, this is just the base. Okay. This is just the base. In my Darius Cooks. Dutch oven. Hi, how are you? Okay, so I'm gonna stir that together real good. It's very saucy, which is what we like. It smells amazing, actually. That little bit of garlic and that smoked paprika sets the party off right. Okay, I'm gonna add in some of this cheddar cheese. This all they had, all right? This what we finna use. We gonna have the best Thanksgiving. You know when grandma was cooking, Grandma only cooked what, the, what she had. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's the beauty in when you cook for your family or you cook for somebody you love. Using what you have is so beautiful. Because you could like make, you could make anything out of like, this is quesadilla cheese. Who? Who needs to know? Ain't no gruyere in here. Nobody. Okay, so we're gonna stir this around. Oh, God, this look good. Oh, I gotta taste it. Hold on, y'all. I just need one green bean. I just need one. Let me see. Mm. Oh, y'all. Oh, God. It's so good. Now, if you like mushrooms, throw you some mushrooms in there. I don't like mushrooms. I tried them a few times. No fungus among us. I didn't like that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But if you like you some mushrooms, throw you some mushrooms in there. You know, vegans love putting mushrooms in stuff, child. It tastes like meat. No, it don't. <laughs> No, 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 no. I know what meat tastes like. And the mushrooms ain't it. <laughs> okay, we're going to pour this into our casserole dish. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on, I'm going to have to wash this out because I think I'm going to need this again for something. Okay. Oh. Now, I'm going to put... FYI, now the recipe is called Nacho Mama's Green Bean Casserole. Let me say it one more time. <laughs> Nacho Mama's Green Bean Casserole. Nacho Mama's Green bean casserole. One more time. One more time. Nacho Mama's green bean casserole. Here's what we do. We put a little cheese on top. All right. Same cheese as we put inside. We're going to put the cheese on top. You can shred your own. 
But why? You could. Go ahead. Shred your own. But why? Okay? Now, you do not put the nachos, the Doritos on just yet. You put the Doritos on. Come on, cornbread. I see you. Let this go for a little bit. Then we're going to bring it out, put the Doritos on top, and back in the oven. Okay? Hold the line. I am so excited you are here. I really am. We is really having ourselves a good time. Are we not? So far, I had plans to make, how many recipes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven recipes. <laughs> I made but three. <laughs> My bad. And my cup getting low. Okay. And my cup getting low. Let's talk about a cute appetizer. Listen. First of all, if you need anything from my online store, you go to shopdariuscooks.com. The pots are sold as a set and they are also sold individually. And if you can't afford it because your money is funny, you can buy now and pay later. Let me scare you. Okay? Is this the right page? Usually there are more viewers. No, you on my personal Facebook, sis. It's 1,800 people watching me on my uh, business page. Okay. We got to... Hold on. Darius, please, how do you make stuffing every time I mess up? Okay. I got the stuff to make the stuffing with, but we don't have time. It's 9.25. We could do stuffing tomorrow. Okay. I bought some croissants. To show you how many of my croissants. Let's make it. Come on. Let's just do it. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. We might as well since we here. Come on. Let's do it. I was going to do it tomorrow. But you know what? Let's do the croissant stuffing right now. All right. Okay. Onion. Bell pepper. And celery are a must. Okay? I'm going to be using my Darius Cooks Everyday Knife. Y'all see my logo on there? You can get this at shopdariuscooks.com. Just use the code... Um, Thanksgiving 22 at checkout to save 55%. Do drink out an empty cup twice. TikTok, don't get blocked. All right. I still got some drinking left in here. It ain't much, but I still got some. Okay. Okay, come on. I was going to do this tomorrow, but you know what? You ain't saying nothing but a word. Look how well this knife cuts. This is the Darius Cooks Everyday Chef Knife that cuts beautifully every single time. Okay? So this is, let me get a bowl. All right, this is my celery. Now, I'm going to try to do this. <laughs> I'm going to try to do this, but I'm lit, okay? Like somebody's uncle on the grill. 
Okay, celery chopped, all right? Let's chop up some bell pepper. See, the dairy is cooked every day night. You see that? Watch this. Thank you. Watch this. And if you already have this knife, let people in the comments know how amazing this knife is. Go on, let them know. Tell them. Yeah, I got the knife. I cut myself on it. <laughs> Don't feel bad. We didn't all cut ourselves on this knife. That's how good this knife is, all right? It's the only knife you're going to ever need in your whole life, okay? The Darius Cooks. Every day chef knife, okay? All right, in here goes my bell pepper, half a bell pepper, and then let me go and cut up a little taint of this white onion. Why am I using white onion? It was on sale. <laughs> Okay, it was on sale. All right, let me show you how to do this. Okay, we cut up our onion. What was that? Done. That's the power of this knife, done. All right, now let's get a skillet on the stove, ready. All right, and then into this skillet, I'm gonna add in a little bit of olive oil, okay? I ain't gonna tell y'all I turned on the wrong, the wrong burner. I ain't gonna tell you that. Or as grandma will say, the wrong eye. Okay, a little taint of olive oil, but this is the holidays. So you know what we do? A little butter for the taste. Oh, half a stick, all right, goes right in there. All right, let me give my vegetables a bit of a rinse. And I'm gonna show you, so this is not traditional cornbread, okay? <laughs> I don't wanna hear your mouth about my light skin dressing I'm gonna make, my light skin stuffing, okay? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I do not want to hear your mouth about my white people stuffing I'm finna make, okay? This is not, I made traditional corn, well, I made quick cooking cornbread dressing last week, all right? But this is my white people stuffing. White people know how to cook too. Don't, y'all gonna stop doing that to white people, okay? Yes, this is an apple. Shut up. <laughs> this is a Fiji apple, okay? This is a cute, light skin stuffing for our cousins that watch us, okay? Because you know we do have other nationalities, okay? If you are white and you are our white cousin and you are in the comment, please say hello to let people know that you are there, okay? Cause this, they don't believe that the white people, y'all like stuffing too, okay? And we like y'all. Okay, this is my white people stuffing. And I think it's delicious, personally. Yes, it's an apple. Shut up. Put your onion. 
<laughs> Put your own here. Put your own Your bell pepper, your celery. Put some stuff in here. Come on, quit playing with me. Come on, y'all. Come on. That's gotta be crystal. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody at that door but crystal. Nobody. Hold on, y'all. Who is it? Oh, Amazon. Thank you. All right, have a good night. It's Amazon. I ordered a few things on Amazon. <laughs> Air tags. Because I want to make sure my car does not get stolen. And I want to make sure my computer and my book bag don't get stolen. So I know I'm late to the game, but these are my Apple Air tags. Okay, now into. My onion, bell pepper, and celery. I'm going to add some apple. Shut your mouth. I got about half a Fiji apple cut up in there. Okay? Now, with the Fiji apple, oh, let me get my chicken stock. Hold on, y'all. This is my chicken stock. <laughs> it's frozen. <laughs> it's frozen. Hold on. I'll put it in the in the microwave. Okay. And let it heat up. Y'all all right now? Okay. Okay. Garlic, I mean, onion, bell pepper, celery is in there. We need a little bit of, a little bit of garlic. Okay, now I wasn't even going to do this for y'all today, but I'm like, you know what? Forget it. Let's just do it. Okay. Now, if you need anything from our online store, you can go to shop. DariusCooks.com. All right, and use the code Thanksgiving22 at checkout. Okay. These are four gigantic garlic cloves. I'm gonna smash and chop them up. All right. Now, along with the apple, the onion, the bell pepper, and the celery, I'm going to add in some garlic. And then, are you ready for this? Italian sausage. Over the moon, OK? Um, if you can find the bulk, find the bulk. If you cannot, just cut you a little slit like this and pull the meat out of the inside, right? Pull the casing off, and then look at this. You have all the sausage ready to go, okay? So I'm going to add in Italian sausage. This is not a typical black people. This is not your cornbread dressing. Okay, do me a favor. Let this be your second dressing. Because you already know, if you make this your primary dressing, your cousin is going to be like, what's this? <laughs> you say, shut up. Okay. I saw Darius do it, and it looked good on the internet. So that's why I did it. Okay. All right. So we're going to cut three sausages open. Okay. 
and we're gonna put our sausage in with our apple, <laughs> our apple, <laughs> our garlic, everything. This is also in, this is also in this cookbook as well. I don't know where it's at, but it's in here. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I can't find it. I'm too tipsy. I'm too tipsy, but if you have this, <laughs> if you have this book, it's the croissant bread pudding. It's in here. I mean the croissant stuffing. It's in here. I just don't know exactly where it's at. Let me see. I ain't going to be able to find it. It's in here. I know it's in here because I wrote it. <laughs> okay. You want to get you a spoon and you want to break up the sausage. Okay. Look at this. So we got sausage, onion, bell pepper, celery, and garlic. Okay. Break up the sausage as it cooks because if you don't, it's going to clump together. And ain't no God in it. All right. Ain't no God in that. Break that up, okay? So it, it clumps together. I mean, so it don't clump together. That's what I'm trying to say. Break it up. And what I want you to do is um, add you a little herb to that, okay? So I have some fresh thyme. You can use fresh thyme. You can use fresh sage. Whatever you want. So I got fresh stuff, okay? This is fresh thyme. I'm gonna add the sprigs of thyme right in here, okay? So they can cook up real good. Now we ain't put no season in here. Let me check my stock. Let me let it go for a little more. Okay, now let's talk about the bread, okay? I was not prepared to do this tonight, but since I love y'all so much, I'm going to go and do it for you, okay? What are we using? Buttery, juicy croissants, okay? I love this recipe, okay? Because it uses one of my favorite ingredients, which is a croissant, okay? How much butter is in this? Enough to cause you to need a triple bypass. Is that okay? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Here we go. Croissant. Now, with our croissant, what we're going to do is just cube it. Okay. We don't got to do too much with this. This is buttery. This is juicy. And we're just going to cube our croissants and throw our croissants into a bowl. Let's talk about, can we talk about seasoning for our um, lovely, beautiful, and amazing onion, bell pepper, celery mix that we have on the stove? All right, let's talk about that because that's going to be super crucial. All right, croissants are in. And you know where I got these from? Because you're going to make these yourself. A regular grocery store. The grocery store, hold on, I'll drop two. 
the grocery store has croissants readily available, okay? Beautiful croissants ready to go. All right. We have lovely onion, bell pepper, celery. Let me add in a little bit of sage. You can use poultry seasoning or you can use sage, okay? This is dried sage ready for the action, okay? Now don't use too much or you're gonna be shamed. Okay, half a teaspoon by all you need. Okay, let's put a little bit of garlic powder. All right, why don't we do a little touch of uh, onion powder. All right, why don't we also add a little pinch of Herbs de Provence. Right. And then why don't we add us a little taint of black pepper. All right. And then, you know, my favorite dried fennel, a little bit of that. All right. Let's give that a mix. We can cut our heat off because my sausage has cooked all the way through with the apple. Oh my God, this smells so good. So my sausage is cooked in. This is my Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet. I do use it every day. So my sausage is cooked all the way through. I'm going to add all of this beautiful sausage, butter, oil, bell pepper, garlic, all of that right into the croissant. Okay. Let's give this a mix real fast. And this is begging. Oh my God, y'all. Smells outstanding. All right, this is begging for moisture. So I have one can of cream of whatever soup, whatever you like, cream of chicken, cream of celery, cream of mushroom, I don't care, all right? And then, why don't we take some of our lovely homemade chicken stock that we made last week and froze for moments like this and then mix this together, all right? Just to make sure everybody's like, oh my gosh, ugh. Okay, beautiful, absolutely perfect. Let's throw this into my Darius Cook's cast iron skillet. Watch this, ugh. Come on, croissant. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah. Look at that. 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 Okay. This will go into that hot oven with my green bean casserole and my sweet potato cornbread, all right? Speaking of casserole, let's do this. Let's pull it out for a second, all right? Let's, let's see what our casserole is giving before we make this jerk shrimp, okay? Look at that. So it's it's bubbling away, it's browning. Okay, traditionally, with 
green bean casserole, you want to add French fried onions, right? Yes. So in this case, let's add our French, French fried onions to the top. Okay, now, along with the French fried onions, we have a little cheesy Doritos. Cause it is not your mama's green bean casserole. Nacho, N-A-C-H-O. Okay, now once this cooks a little bit, we'll crunch over some um, green beans. I mean, we'll crunch over the Doritos and we'll crunch over the French fry onions. Now, this goes back in the oven for a few more minutes. Pardon me for one second. I'm just gonna test out my cornbread by sticking to me a skewer inside just to make sure my cornbread is good. It's not quite, see? If you stick a skewer in your cornbread and it doesn't come out clean, it's not quite done. It's almost, but not quite. So I'll put my cornbread back in with my dressing. And all we have to do that's left. So here's what we made so far, all right? We made that beautiful sweet potato cornbread, okay? Number one. Number two, we made the sausage stuffing out of croissant and Italian sausage, okay? Number three, the green bean casserole, okay? The last thing we're going to make today, besides one more cocktail or refill, is the jerk shrimp, which is on page. Everything comes out of 101 recipes for your holiday table, which you can get at shopdariuscooks.com, all right? So we're gonna do a beautiful jerk shrimp as an appetizer, which you can get off of page. I'm gonna show you what page you can get it on. Well, the green bean casserole is on page 67, okay? This jerk shrimp, we're gonna go for, here it is on page 49, okay, 49, all right? Now let's talk about cocktails real fast before we delve into shrimp territory, okay? Now, isn't this apron lovely? You, what am I doing? What do I got? Nothing. This is a beautiful German chocolate apron. You can get it at shopdariuscooks.com. 55% off, okay? by using the code THANKSGIVING22 at shopdariuscooks.com. All right, a little bit of ice. Fresh squeezed lime juice. It don't matter who squoze it. A little bit of ginger beer. Thank you. We're gonna add us a little bit of sour apple. 
apple pucker. And then we're gonna finish off with a little bit of green apple vodka, okay? A couple shots or whatever you can have. I done drunk the half, I done drunk a whole half a bottle. Jesus. I done drunk a whole half a bottle of you. Lord have mercy. Now this recipe is in 101 recipes for your holiday tape. You can get it today by going to shop dairyscooks.com. Use the code Thanksgiving22 at checkout to save 55%. Or if you want to, you can get the ebook as well. If you say, there is. I don't want to wait on the post office. The ebook could be yours right now. Shop Darius Cooks. Doc oh Lord, they didn't clean these shrimp. Hold on, y'all. My shrimp not clean. And you know we do not play that around here. Give me a second. It won't take that long. These are U15, which means they are 15 of these to a pound. Okay, you're gonna run them under cold water after you remove the shell like this. I know they weren't clean, y'all. Well, what else we got to do? We ain't doing nothing else. Y'all ain't got nowhere to go. Y'all still up here watching me on a Tuesday. The election over. <laughs> so we think. <laughs> Mitch McConnell say, I want to be Senate leadership. They said no. Schumer said no. Last I checked, it was looking real bad for the Democrats on the House. Two, what was it? 215? No, 214 to 204, 205. That's what I seen last time. What is that now? The code is not working. Bullshit. The code works. Oh, and if you want dining with Darius Cook's tickets, $100 off, use the code November22 at checkout for dining with Darius Cook's tickets. I forgot to tell y'all that. My bad. Sorry. What's the latest? Since I got a pill of shrimp, we might as well talk a little bit. Last I seen, it was 20. Four, 205 Democrats to the Republicans they had two something two oh five to two sixteen oh lord it ain't looking too good Democrats now y'all did good with that Senate race though and let me tell you why I believe that um, Raphael Warnock is important. You still got two crazy asses you got to deal with. Okay? You got Joe Manchin from West Virginia. Got to deal with him. Okay. Joe Flip Flop. <laughs> Joe Flip Flop more than a, a versatile gay man. Okay. You don't know what Joe going to do one day to the next. All right. So Joe Manchin and Kristen Cinema, all right? We got to work out with them too. So this is the reason why 
you still got to make sure Georgia go out and vote for Warnock. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. This is from me to you. I'm not that drunk. You 15 shrimp. That means it's 15 to a pound. For me to you, you still got to vote because you need Warnock in there. See, if Warnock is in there, this is what end up happening. When the Democrats go to vote, see, even if Manchin and even if Cinema vote no, you still got Warnock's yes. Number one, if it's a tie, guess who break the tie? The president pro tempore. Okay? That means that Kamala go be down to the chamber talking about what's up. And this is what I always say. If you ever, ever need something done, let a black woman do it. I will stand by that statement until I die. I love every nationality. I love, I love every race. But there is something about the ingenuity, okay, and the resourcefulness of a black woman that you can't get nowhere else. Okay? You can't get that nowhere else. And let me tell you something. Kamala, y'all talking about some, well, we ain't heard nothing from her. She the vice president. You ain't supposed to hear nothing from her. You see what I'm saying? When Joe Biden was vice president, how much you heard from him? Nothing. Okay? So you, oh, let me get this cornbread out of the oven. Hold on. Before I cook this shrimp. I'm going to burn up my whole oven. Hold on, y'all. This is the jerk shrimp off page. Um, what page is on? I forget. But it's in the cookbook. 101 recipes for your holiday table. If you do not have it, you should get it. Okay? It is available for you at, um, what's the website? ShopDariusCooks.com Okay? Use the code What's the code? Thanksgiving 22 at checkout. Ooh, come on, cornbread. Come on, sweet potato cornbread. Hello. Thank you. Okay. I'll put you down for a second. Let you cool off a little bit. My dressing, I mean my, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh it's done too. Look at this. Almost. My croissant stuffing is almost done. Okay. You just hold on. I'm going to do a real quick butter for that cornbread. You just, you just hold on one second. Um, ShopDariusCooks.com. Use the code... November 22 at checkout to save. Okay, this is my last shrimp right here. Okay, looking good. All right, this is all garbage. All right, now let's look at the book because I think I'm supposed to add jerk seasoning to this. I think. I bet I am. I don't even, I don't even need the book for this. I'm supposed to add jerk seasoning to this. All right, so to my shrimp... All right, I got a little jerk seasoning. 
You can use whatever you like. Okay, but you already know what I'm finna use. They ain't wrote me no check, so I can't tell you what it is. But some of y'all are smart, and you already know what this is, okay? So I'm gonna put me a little jerk seasoning, a little jerk paste. Hold on, my spoon done got stuck in here, child. Hold on. Let's not do that. Let me do this. <laughs> okay, a little jerk paste. Now, to me, the jerk paste could be a little bit, like, on the thick side. So I like to add a little bit of lime juice to my jerk paste. And then I also like to add a little bit of brown sugar as well. Because I personally, I like a little bit of sweetness to sort of offset the heat. And this is a mild jerk seasoning, okay? This is a cute appetizer that you can do for Thanksgiving. This is on page, look at this. This on page 49. See this? This is the book, it's called 101 Recipes for Your Holiday Table. <clears throat> and it's only four ingredients. They get you this. Okay? Okay. The four ingredients. Shrimp. Done. Jerk marinade. Done. Brown sugar. Done. A little bit of olive oil. Okay, a little bit of olive oil. And let's mix that together. And this is a cute little appetizer that you can make while all the girls are waiting for you to finish cooking. <laughs> While they waiting on you to finish cooking, you can make this appetizer, okay? Let me get my stuff out of the oven. Because I got stuff cooking. My cornbread is done. Thank you. My green bean casserole. Baby, she ready. Get into her. Get into it. My green bean casserole? Nacho mama's green bean casserole? Without the mushrooms? Look at that. Be, hold on. One second. I want you to hear her bubbling. Listen to this. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you. To get the book, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code THANKSGIVING22 at checkout. All right? Now, skillet is hot. Shrimp into the skillet. All right, this is the jerk shrimp. Oh, right into the skillet. All right, now let's look at this cornbread. It's hot, but let's see what we can do, okay? Cornbread is here. 
we are going to run our knife around the outside of the sweet potato cornbread. Are you ready for this? I hope you're ready. Is this not the best fun? Huh? Are you not having yourselves the best time ever? I don't know about you, but I'm having fun. Okay? Cornbread. Sweet potato cornbread out of the oven. Would you stop playing with me? I don't know who you think you thought I was, but I know how to make a sweet potato cornbread out of this world. Thank you. <laughs> Baby. Ba Look at this. Do you see this? Huh? Baked fresh out of the up. My jerk shrimp, they're done. Okay. Before I make myself a bit of a plate, because my, my croissant stuffing is done too. I'm just doing side dishes, FYI, and drinks. <laughs> I was going to do two drinks. I was going to do the cranberry sangria, the holiday sangria, or Christmas morning sangria. But I don't need nothing else but what's in this cup. Butter. Um, into the butter, we're going to add <clears throat> brown sugar. Along with the butter and the brown sugar, we're going to add a wee touch of vanilla extract, okay? So you have butter, brown sugar, vanilla extract, and a little pinch of kosher salt. That's it. All right, we'll get a spoon. And we shall work this together until it is one cohesive mixture. So it helps that the butter itself is like room temperature. You know what I mean? Because then you'll be able to mix your butter and the brown sugar and the vanilla together so well. Okay? Then we're going to add in honey okay so we're going to add in some honey beautiful beautiful honey all right and give that a good mix or like a whip if you will all right and then let's throw this <clears throat> right into a little casserole, a little dish, a little serving dish. This is our butter pecan honey butter. But hold on one second, because we're not done. We need more honey. Okay. We need more honey. Where do you have this much fun on the internet? Nowhere. Who else is doing, who else is cooking like this? Who else is cooking like this? Nobody, child. Okay? 
Okay, and then I got me a little few pieces of pecans, okay? So you throw you a little chopped pecan. You could toast them up if you want to, but you throw you a little chopped pecan on top of your butter pecan honey butter, right? But let me show you how this goes, all right? This is a sweet potato cornbread with a butter pecan honey butter. Okay, here's our cornbread. Uh oh, oh Jesus, almost was over for you. Why don't we use my Darius Cook's everyday knife to cut us a slice while it's still warm? Oh, watch this. Did somebody say something? I'm sorry. I thought somebody said something like, oh, he couldn't cook or it was going to be burned or it was not going to come out right. I, I thought someone said something and I'm just not really sure what it was I heard. But I want to show you what a slice of the butter pecan uh, honey butter and the sweet potato cornbread looks like as it comes out of the oven. Because I, I don't know, you know, sometimes people be having something to stay, you know what I'm saying? And I just be want to show them like, not today, Satan. Okay, not today. All right, here we go. Let's get a little knife. And let's get some of our beautiful butter pecan, honey butter right on top of this. Oh, like this. Oh, ooh, ooh. Now don't forget, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com Use the code THANKSGIVING22 at checkout and you can save 55%. Now, if you don't buy today, you can buy tomorrow, but it's going to be 50% tomorrow. I'm letting you know ahead of time, all right? ShopDariusCooks.com. Use the code mm, THANKSGIVING22. At checkout. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Ooh, look at that thing. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Look at that thing, baby. Look at that. Hold on, I gotta go camera to camera. Look at that. Hold on one second. Look at that. 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 Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Baby! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Ooh, Jesus. I feel like falling in love. <laughs> hey, baby. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Butter pecan, honey butter. This is going to fuck them up for Thanksgiving. I'm telling you, let me go. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Let me see. I 
don't know. I don't know. Let me see. Mm. Okay. Butter pecan, honey butter. With sweet potato cornbread. It's in one hundred and one recipes for your holiday table. Okay? Now, can we talk about real fast? Yes. We'll see you in a second. Can we talk about this jerk shrimp? Okay. Jerk seasoning. A little bit of lime juice. And brown sugar. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, ooh. I'm not really sure how it tastes, but you can go to shopdariusquicks.com. Use the code Thanksgiving22 at checkout to save. Now, oh wait, hold on. Put some parsley and something on top of it, okay? Make it look real cute with parsley or something. I ain't did none of that. This is the picture in the book. This is the picture in real life. All right. Very similar, except I didn't put no parsley on it. Thank you, Madeline. All right. Let me see. Look at this. Look at all. Look at that. Look at that jerk shrimp as an appetizer for Thanksgiving. Okay, you see that? It's an appetizer. So. For Thanksgiving, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Baby. <coughs> Baby. <coughs> okay, hold on. Got a little heat with that brown sugar. Balances that heat out perfectly. One, two, three, four ingredients. Mm, It's so good, y'all. One more. One more. Mmm. Mmm. All right. All right. Let me get this croissant and sausage stuffing out the oven. What was that? What was that? I, I didn't hear you. What what was that? I thought somebody said something about a croissant, sausage, and apple stuffing. Okay. I ain't think so. I ain't think so. But first, we have to try the Nacho Mama's green bean casserole. I am having so much fun. Okay, this is the Nacho Mama's green bean casserole, okay? 
Why is it nacho mamas? Because we use nacho. Woo! Nacho Doritos. And we used, oh my God, French fried onions as the topping. What page is that on? I forget. Okay. But it's in the book. I just forgot where it was. All right. Let me see. Look at that. Oh. Transform frozen green beans into an oasis of flavor. Let me see. Hold on one second. Y'all should not let me drink alcohol, okay? Okay, let me see. Let me see. Mmm. 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 God damn. Darius Williams. What did you just do? Oh. Oh. Green bean casserole like you have never seen before. In 101 recipes for your holiday table. You can get it. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, shop Darius Cook. Mmm. Dot com. Mm. 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 Jesus Christ. Baby, this thing is amazing. Oh, this thing is good. They said TikTok cooked me off. No, they didn't. TikTok's still on. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is good, y'all. Okay, let me try the dressing, the, the stuffing. Hold on. Okay. This is light skin stuffing. Okay. Light skin. Light skin stuffing. Sausage, herb, and croissant. Okay. Oh, oh. Look at this. Look at that. Sausage, herb, and croissant stuffing. Ha! Huh? Just one moment. Can we just thank God for good food? <laughs> can we just thank, can we just pause? And thank God for good food. Food that tastes this good don't make no sense. Let me see. Okay. Hey, croissant. Hey, apple. It's hot, y'all. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Every once in a while, I outdo my own expectations. And when I tell you this thing is so amazing, it don't make no sense. Oh, this thing don't make no sense. That sausage with that apple and that buttery croissant. Now, This is not traditional dressing. 
But God damn it, it's amazing. Oh my God. Ooh! You gotta try it. You have to try the sausage and the croissant stuffing. It is so... I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay, listen. Two things I wanna tell you, as I always do. Food is my life, life is my food. Until next time, I gotta wish you a happy cooking from my heart to yours. I love y'all, goodbye. Oh my God. The apples are so sweet with that spicy sausage. Oh my God. Mm. Bye y'all. Mm. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Mm.